צה"ל מאשר שלפני שעה קלה עשרות מחבלים חדרו לישראל בכמה מוקדים. אנחנו מנסים להבין. ב-7 באוקטובר הבנו שאנחנו עומדים בפני אירוע גדול, ומיד כינסנו צוות לחשיבה וסיור מוחות במטרה להבין היכן המשאבים והייחודיות של הטכניון יוכלו לסייע לנו להתמודדות עם המצב. תוך יממה הקמנו מוקד לערבות הדדית. הסגל האקדמי, המינהלי והסטודנטים יוכלו להיכנס לאתר ולבחור האם הם רוצים להתנדב או לקבל סיוע בתחומים שונים. היה ברור לנו שהסיוע שלנו יכלול גם את הקהילה מחוץ לטכניון, למשל שיכון מפונים והקמה של מערך אורה ארצי. ההיענות הייתה חסרת תקדים. מהשלב של התכנון הראשוני לתפעול של המוקד להתנדבות בפועל, זכינו בהירתמות מדהימה של מתנדבות ומתנדבים מכל היחידות ובכל הסטטוסים. המוקד לערבות הדדית נחל הצלחה גדולה והוכיח את עצמו לאורך זמן, ולא סתם רוח ההתנדבות, המסירות, המצוינות שלנו, הם חלק מה During Iron Swords, we had the opportunity to save the academic year for high school students who were evacuated from their homes as a result that there was no academic program. The Robophysics program combines math, physics, computer programming, and robotics to allow the students to realize the laws of physics in real-world models that they built. During the week at the Technion, they were also exposed to enrichment lectures by our faculty and get academic credit for it, both for their matriculation exams in physics and towards an introductory course in our department. The feedback we got from students was unbelievable. They wrote it was the first positive thing they'd experienced during the war, that it's their dream to study at the Technion and they're excited to be here, and that they learned a lot from enrichment lectures from our faculty. Shortly after October 7th, I received a phone call from Dr. Omir Chaim, who was treating a patient called Neta. Neta was severely injured on October 7th by terrorists who attacked her home in Kfar Aza. Uh, so we invited her to our lab. We 3D scanned her leg and designed and customized device especially for her. After a few days, we delivered it to her. It was incredible to see how it worked exactly the way we imagined it would. She also gave us a very valuable feedback that could help us improve the device for her and also for future patients. It was very rewarding. On October 7, I've been called off to serve and do my duty as the captain of the operational center in my tank unit. Coming back to the campus was very challenging. The dissonance between wake up every morning and be tense and fight for your life and for your friends to come here and study and listen to professors, it's kind of confusing. I realized there is a great system here who want to support us and help us. The senior management gave us many tools to deal with everything we've been through. For example, the Technion gave me and the other reservists an academic scholarship for the next semester, which gave us financial relief. Another thing the Technion did for us is to provide us one-on-one -on -one session with the academic staff. In the first two weeks of the war, the Technion declared a 6,000 shekel scholarship for students in reserves. In addition, me, as a dormitory's resident, received two months free of charge. These two things really helped me concentrate and focus on my army mission and it made me feel like the Technion is really appreciating my efforts. As I got back to studies, I was a bit worried because it's my first semester. I missed only a couple of weeks due to the Technion delay of the year, more than other universities. I was also provided reinforcement classes and I was also offered a psychological treatment to make the shift back to the studies smoother. Because of all the support I got, I'm really glad I chose to study here at the Technion. <laughs> 